What are the benefits of a health coach and are there any disadvantages? Watch this video to the end to learn the answer. Thank you for taking a few minutes to watch this video. My name is Mike Vini, and on this channel, you will find peace of mind through original mental wellness tips, proven diversity and inclusion strategies, and so much more. If you are new, welcome. I invite you to click that subscribe button and that little alert bell so you can be the first to know when a new video comes out. Coming up shortly, you are going to get to watch an interview between Jane Dye and myself. Jane is a health coach, and I reached out to her to help me help you with your health. The popular topic of 2020 was your health, and I want you to start this year getting healthy so you can be the best version of yourself and prevent sickness. When I talk about mental health, which I usually talk about, I don't say this enough and I should say it more, mental health is a component of overall health. So it's really important to just focus on health in your life. Jane and I met years ago in a previous lifetime. I was a drummer and drum teacher full time and I had the honor of teaching her son, Connor, drum lessons. I really miss those days. So I reached out to her and we got on Zoom and here is our interview. Welcome back, Jane. How are you? Hi, I'm good. It's great to be back with you. Yeah, thank you so much for doing this. I am so excited to talk with you today because I want to talk with you about health coaches. Now, it's a new year. Everyone's trying to get healthy. And I've heard about health coaches before. Sometimes I've even, to be honest with you, rolled my eyes going, okay, what is this? Are they a doctor? First of all, what is a health coach? So as uh, I think we discussed a little bit last time, a health coach is um, uh, helps guide and support people who are interested in making overall lifestyle changes um, with a focus on nutrition to promote health and overall well-being. So um, we look at, you know, all the facets of a person, how we connect all the dots, how we can really see where they're at in their life and, and make the upgrades that they want to make. Um, really, it's my job as a health coach to pull out of my clients um, all the wisdom that they have inside themselves and provide them with the type of um, um, help that will let them really figure out what's right for them. So I'm not going to certainly tell them the right foods to eat or not to eat. I'll certainly expose them to a world of healthy food and healthy lifestyle and together through um, experiential exercises and other kinds of things we do in and outside of the, the, uh, the work we do, they find their way. And it's all about knowing that uh, big issues require little changes and uh, little changes take care of big issues. Um, lots of times people um, want to make change. In fact, do you know um, how, um, what the percentage of people are that try to change their habits but fall back into old habits. Ooh, I, 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 this has got to be around 90%, I think. It is. It's about 92%. And what okay. they're missing is the idea that they need to turn healthy habits into behaviors that last. And what we do as a health coach is that, you know, lots of times people feel overwhelmed with the scope of change that they want to make. Um, they don't realize, as we just discussed, about how small changes make a big impact. And so they try something for a temporary time, which may be too complex or may be unrealistic for the time that they've determined it should take. So this can be leading to an approach that you know, falls apart and leaves you frustrated and discouraged. So we focus on what 8% of the people do that make that work by using some important steps, by really seeing where you're at to begin with, um, really see what is working for you and what isn't, and certainly provide that supportive environment um, where you can articulate your frustrations and your challenges towards what your goals are, and we help you find the right choices that work best for you. We really put the power back in your hands. Mm -hmm. So um, again, this is all about making sustainable, practical, and incremental change. Um, so we create your blueprint and decipher your unique needs 
setting your personal goals and uh, working towards sustainable change. Wow. You, you know, I wish I would have known about this years ago. I spend a lot of time on these videos talking about self-care. I'm always doing a self-care video and self-care in, in my definition is what you do to improve your health when you're not in the presence of a medical professional. Mm -hmm. And obviously a medical professional can be part of your health getting improved, but Thank there's you. time when you're not there. What I like about this health coach concept is like you're in a way that bridge and, you, exactly. you know, in the middle. I love that. Well, the, here's the deal is that doctors are the masters of assessment and treatment, but health coaches are the masters of habit change. So we help to empower clients, we do some hand-holding, but we also have a transformational approach. Again, um, tying experiential exercises to motivation to anchor them in so that people get uh, better results as to how they're going to actually achieve lasting change. So the real issue is, I didn't even know what a health coach is. My background, um, I was a psychiatric nurse and I was director of... Um, nursing and medical training for a national healthcare company. But the impact that you can make when you work with people individually or in small groups, as I'm sure you know, is, is profound. So the real issue for coaching to work though, is that you gotta invest in the process, okay? This can't be a casual decision. It can't just be a yes. It has to be really like a hell yes. I really wanna do this because you're gonna have to be personally responsible and make it a priority to show up to your regularly scheduled uh, sessions, prepare to do the work in and out of uh, the time together, take responsibility for your own outcomes, own your impact. And this means facing your fears, okay to feel fears, we're all human, that's what we do, but to take the necessary action even when we have that. And that's what a coach can do, help you look at that and create real lasting change and committing really to be, which I know you have done in, in so many ways in your career to being authentic mm. and really hiding nothing so that we can really get to um, what's the root behind why people are making some of the, the decisions they are and the choices that they are. You know, I'm thinking as we're talking, mm -hmm. I currently have a business coach and I actually recommend coaches to people in general because coaches, in my opinion, it, 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 it's different than like your, your your friend or your buddy or or even a mentor. A coach provides structure, a really really nice structure for you to achieve whatever you are are trying to achieve. So I think that's wonderful. Now I'm going to ask you a challenging question here, very challenging okay. question. Okay. Um, you give me these lovely benefits and advantages mm -hmm. of, of a health coach, and I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm really open to it. But what about disadvantages? Are there any disadvantages? Well, the only disadvantage is, is that sometimes when we're trying to make change, depending upon who we live with, who we work with, what our environment is, you know, you have to be committed to it enough because we have to let somebody remain where they are while we make change. Now we may inspire if you feel they might want to make some of those changes. So you may inspire just by doing them. So the disadvantage sometimes is trying to get others to go along with that structure or that program because it may not be appropriate for them. Guidelines are, general guidelines are always appropriate. Like we just talked last time about um, nourishing yourself with water and staying hydrated, right? I mean, we all know eating a whole food plant-based diet is um, advised at this point. They actually came out nationally in 2015 for the first time, really advising that we eat that type of uh, diet. Uh, so there's certain things that I think people know but I think the disadvantage is, is also you have to show up. Um, and here's something that's important to understand. With coaching, you know, there is no such thing as failure. It's only feedback. So if for some reason we've chosen to do something, you've put a structure in place and it hasn't worked, we wanna look at that. And we wanna alter that to move that into the direction of success. So if we don't feel like it's a failure, we're just like, we do experiments, right? You try a new drumbeat, I try a new recipe, whatever it might be, right? I mean, it, it's figuring out, you know, do I add a little of this? Do I remove a little of that? So, uh, so I think the biggest disadvantage is that when somebody's really gung-ho and they might have somebody else who is um, 
not necessarily supporting them, they need to go forth with their coach and try to um, move those things forward. Also, maybe, you know, you're going to have contradictory information. There are other people who are going to tell you other things. I think that's why this coaching approach is so critical because we're not talking about everybody else. We're looking about how to apply these important um, um, concepts and practices for you mm. because we're all so unique. So another great concept, of course, as we all know, is physical activity. Okay, all this sitting we're doing. Okay, a couple of years ago, they called sitting the new tobacco because people just weren't moving. So part of that thing now that we're home uh, more than we're not is I, you know, I work with people on home practices, you know, things that you can do without the course of your day to put in functional movement and enjoyable movement so that you are able to stay, you know, energized and focused and things of that sort. And what one person likes to do is very different than another. And it doesn't make one better than the other. It just, it's just different. So we find what works for people. And again, in small incremental changes and the focus is on fun. So that's why it's hard for me to come up with like a lot of disadvantages. Does anything come up for you that you want to address? <laughs> well, you know, you know, I, I think, I mean, obviously the, there's also finding the right coach, you know. Absolutely right. has to be a fit. And I, I think that's important. But that being said, moment of transparency to those of you watching, I took a session with Jane and really enjoyed it, or consultation, I should say. And um, I learned a lot about myself and I'm still sitting with what you and I went over. So thank you again um, for that. But if someone's interested in talking to you about health coaching, working with you, how do they go about that? You go right to my website. It's my name. So it's janekdye.com. And there you can find out more information about me. There's lots of success stories and there's also an easy sign up sheet. I just ask you a few questions. So I get to know you a little bit before we have our initial consultation. And then I go ahead and we schedule a free initial consultation. We take about 50, 60 minutes of your time where I'm sure you're, as you said, Mike, you're going to learn something about yeah. yourself, the process. And it is the kind of, the kind of um, awareness that kind of resonates uh, for when a lot of people tell me they hear my voice um, in their head or in their, yeah, when they're <laughs> that, considering things that they're, they, they, that's they just been discussed. Happening. Yes, that's been happening. And, it, and yeah. it's, a very, it's a very comforting um, voice and just oh. some of the things that um, you and I went over in the call. But uh, thank you so much for being here. And thank you so much for sharing that. And you and I will do another video soon. Thanks, Mike. Have a great one. Now that you know a little bit more about health coaches, I invite you to reach out to Jane, who is a health coach. She will offer you a free consultation if you visit her website and fill out the form. I put a link in the description below. Thank you for taking a moment to watch this video. If you liked the video, please click that like button and please share it with your friends. In the next video, we are going to be talking about healthy habits that you can start doing this year. I'll see you in the next video.